I'm right in the heart of Hotel Zone. So Hotel Zone, if you look at uh, the map of Cancun, the heart of it is right in the center where there is a, uh, it's kind of like a V shape. And that is where all the bars and restaurants, there's not like a ton, a ton of restaurants here. I think most people eat at their hotels, but um, there are a few. Uh, restaurants I found here but I tell you the truth I like downtown Cancun much better as far as restaurants and even walking around looking uh, this place is so loud I'm gonna flip this camera around I'm just gonna show you what it looks like during the daytime and maybe at the top I'll I'll throw a uh, split screen in and show you what it looks like at nighttime I can't show you the nighttime video because so much music everywhere um, copyright would just destroy it so uh, this is the start of it right here and you can see the hotels kind of go this way and this way it's a big V shape right here and there are some inexpensive hotels to get here uh, there's several of them there's a loft Selena um, there's a there's a few that you can get one thing I would recommend is ask them if they have a safety box. I went to a couple and they didn't have a safety box. And I'm going to tell you too, if I'm going into any country and my passport's that important, uh, I'm not going to stay in a place without a safety box. It just, it just ain't going to do it. So, anyway, this is where all the action is. And this place is just packed with people. Um, this place has got 21 peso tequila shots all night, if you like that. But right now, I'm going to find a coffee shop. And Coco Bongo, it's supposed to be a really, really good show. Um, you see on the sign, it says, says by CNN. So if CNN says it, I don't I don't think I'd believe it, but uh, it might be a really good show. The CNN part turns me off. But this place right here is just packed. The city, oh my gosh. It is just slam packed with people at nighttime. And the music is so loud. One of the biggest problems you got is <laughs> this whole street is lined with people. And they're just showing you. They all want you to go to the strip club. They all want you to take a lady home. They all want, to, want you to buy drugs. Just stay away from all that. And this street right here, it right in between here and Crocs is just slam packed with people. And you really got to, to get down through there and not be harassed like every five feet. It's almost impossible. Almost impossible. And I think one of the coolest places here, in my opinion, is uh, Senior Frogs. It's it's real interactive, and uh, they got good food. So that's probably one of the coolest places here. But one thing this place don't have, um, they don't have a really, really good beach right in this area. I'm gonna I'm jump a bus. I'm actually leaving town today, but I'm gonna jump a bus and I'm gonna go down to the end of Cancun and I'm gonna show you the best beach in Cancun. It's actually, it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's not as nice as I, I, Isla Mujeres, but uh, it is nice. We'll see your frogs. Hard Rock Cafe. And that is... And once you get to this point right here, one dollar bar, um, the big bar party spot is pretty much over. So, it's just 
this area right here is your main party spot. And trust me when I say this, it is loud. Oh my God, it's so loud. I don't know, if you go in there with a group, uh, don't expect to talk to them. I guess maybe that's why everybody takes their phone so you can text each other. But uh, you're not gonna sit in there and talk to any of your friends in, in them bars. So regardless, I'm gonna go find a cup of coffee and then we're gonna go to this, uh, the best beach in Cancun. All right, and it's easy to find. I'll show you how to find it. I was gonna go to the beach, but we hadn't made it there yet. I still gotta jump a bus, but I need some coffee first. I wanna show you uh, this one spot that I found. And actually, it's really inexpensive. They got really good food. And, um, well, I, anyway, I'll just go up there and we'll order something. So, this is it. Kai Cog Express. And the way you find it is it's there's a supermarket right across the street. So, the cut-through road from the hotel zone is right here. And... Straight in front of us right here is a pier. You can actually go to um, Isla Mujeres off that pier. I'd prefer to go to Puerto Juarez uh, off their pier, but you can go there. It costs a little bit more. And the routes are like three routes a day instead of like every hour. So I don't want to get stuck over there. So look for the, the supermarket. And that supermarket is absolutely awesome. It has everything. So let's go up here and uh, see what we can order this morning. So this place is actually awesome. Uh, I ordered, they got uh, baguettes and they got croissants here. So I ordered a croissant and I ordered, what did I get? I got the Italian croissant. Um, they got ham and cheese, just cheese, uh, vegetarian, and they got a good selection. All right, well what I paid for it, almost incredible for what I saw come out just now. Uh, the coffee was uh, around a dollar, a little bit less than a dollar and the croissant was um five dollars so let me show you what i got now i don't know if this wide screen does any justice but that's my hand this thing is massively huge awesome so anyway let's try it. let's try it out i really like that uh market 23 yesterday let's see if this beats it I was going to the beach but lucky I found this place oh that croissant is like so flaky and delicate you can imagine they're crispy. That is absolutely great. All right, so if you guys are going to the hotel zone, you got to come here. It is uh, it's inexpensive, and it's it really is is incredible for what I just got. All right, let me eat this, and then we're going to the beach. We made it here to the uh, best beach in Cancun. Now I'll show you how the easy way to find it. As soon as you enter Cancun. Just look for all the people lined up to take a picture. I'm sure I'm going to butcher the name, but it's uh, Playa del Fine, Playa del Fine, something like that. And let me show you the beach. It's absolutely awesome here. Now, the, the bad thing about where I'm staying in the hotel zone, there was uh, during the hurricanes, there's been a lot of erosion right there. And like my hotel in particular, they actually had to put um, riprap out in front of the beach to stop the erosion. So you really don't even have a beach. And it's a public beach, so you just bring your chairs, bring your uh, bring your towels, 
and just come and enjoy it. But the Isla Mujeres playing Norte was very, very nice too. Only one thing I would say about the uh, Playa Norte Beach is it's so nice. <laughs> You're lucky if you can find a spot in the water. There were so many people. So. This is it. Really nice. And now this time of the year, they're having a bad problem with salt grass. And they'll come here with the uh, tractors and they'll clean it all up. And actually, there's been a lot of erosion right here. But on down, it gets a little wider. So, anyway, if you're looking for the best beach, this is it. And it will be packed a little later. It's early in the morning. It's still, uh, gosh, I think it's 8 o'clock now. So, anyway, I had to get going early just to make this video. And I got to get back and check out. And then I'll be going to Playa del Carmen. So, and to get to Playa del Carmen, or anywhere, if you want to go to Tulum, or you're in Tulum, want to go to Cancun, don't get a taxi, get the ADO bus. Just Google map, ADO bus station, and get there. And you can take a Collectivo, which is the white vans that run around, they cost 10 pesos. Or you can jump a bus like I am. I'm gonna get the local bus, R1 bus. It takes you to, well, that's probably dark there. Um, it takes you to the downtown area where the ADO bus station is and it'll drop you off and you can just walk the rest of the way. Probably ain't much a block or so. So I'll go there and it'll cost me like $6 to get to play at El Carmen. So it's really inexpensive to move around here. Or you can take a taxi cab and cost you a fortune. So anyway, this is it. And I'll go up here. Uh, matter of fact, before we sun's going another way before i sign off i'll go up here and do one more of the billboard of this beach to, so i can get the name right and just show you what it says and please like my videos and subscribe tell all your friends share it help me out be right back here's the uh sign let me show you there we go i didn't butcher it too bad make a comment and tell me uh tell me how bad i did Playa del Fines. We're here. That's the Cancun sign. So we're right at the beginning of Cancun, away from town, on the south end of Cancun. But you can just see how amazing it is right here. It's an awesome place. See you guys later.